Good afternoon. We continue with today's press conference. We have defender Kevin O'Toole. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll get started with Juan Carlos. Hi, Kevin. Thank you for the time. Just wanted to get your insight on, you know, defensive performances. Have you guys talked it out during training this uh, this week? And yeah, what to expect for the upcoming match? Thanks. Yeah, sure. Um... I mean, I think we obviously against Toronto, we we defended the box a lot. I think for the most part, we did a, a pretty good job. Um, I think obviously there's some moments, um, including the goal, where we, we can do a bit better. But yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a focus for us. We want to be perfect in those scenarios. So we go through it again in training today, and uh, we'll be we'll be prepared for for Charlotte this weekend. Ronnie, hey Kevin, hope all is well. Just wanted to ask, what's been the biggest message from coach this week following that Toronto game? And if you could just talk about a little bit about the team's mentality going into Charlotte, where we know they haven't had the greatest results uh, so far, and we know they're hungry for, for a home win in front of their fans. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's the message has just been about being resilient as a team. I think, obviously, it wasn't, wasn't our best team performance, and we want to do better, um, especially on the road. We have a few more coming up, so just about – the group staying together, being resilient, um, executing the game plan. I think, you know, we go through some video and we see some moments, especially offensively, that we can exploit a bit better. So um, I think we'll we'll look to bring that to the field this weekend. And yeah, just I think resiliency is kind of the key. Obviously, we can't dwell on um, a tough result and a tough performance too much. We have, you know, the, the games come thick and fast. So it's just about moving on and um, being ready for the next match. Michael Andrew. Kevin, thanks so much for the time. Uh, you're getting to a part of the season now between Open Cup and the regular season schedule where you're going to have a lot more games in a short amount of time. Curious how you're preparing physically, mentally for that. And if you're seeing the, the coaches manage the schedule, obviously they have to manage the schedule differently because you have less time on the uh, on the training pitch. Yeah, I think uh, this is our first stretch of the season where we've got midweek games coming up. We've got, I think, midweek for the next three weeks. So yeah, of course, um, I think there are some guys that will have to be managed in terms of minutes. So it's just about everyone on the roster staying ready. Um, obviously, last year, we saw guys who who had to step in at, at various times and be ready to perform, um, even if they haven't seen the field in, in a couple of months. So I think everyone on the team is super hungry and motivated to play. Um, so, yeah, I think that's that's kind of the message for for the 2020 20 plus man roster is just to be ready because you never know when your name's going to be called. And We've got Open Cup on on uh, Wednesday in Cincinnati, another away game in between uh, two weekend away games. So, yeah, I think everyone's everyone's excited for the for the challenge ahead. And um, yeah, there'll be I'm sure there'll be you know guys getting big opportunities uh, as the games come through. And Christian Hedge. Hi, Kevin. There's been some changes in the the left back depth with Malta going out, Brian coming in in the preseason. How are you finding your own development in that position moving into 2023? Yeah, I think it's been uh, it's been a pretty good transition. Last year, I was playing more as a a wing back in a in a three five two. This year, we've gone with more of a in out and out fullback in a four three three. So, um, I think it's just adapting to the positioning and the spacing with the center back is a bit different because when you have three in the back, you can uh, you can push a bit and, and get a bit higher. And obviously, in in a left back role, you have a more defensive responsibility. So, um, yeah, just working hard at that that part of my game. I think. Um, you know, I'm used to getting forward and getting getting up the line a bunch, and it's just about staying connected with the center back and um, winning your defensive battles. So I think it's been good. Um, I'm 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 liking the role a lot and uh, getting adjusted to it day by day. Michael Allen. Yeah, Kevin, thanks for making the time. Um, there was some frustrations that spilled over in the Toronto game at the end of the game there. Uh, I'm just wondering, going into this week and the training in Charlotte, what's the mood on the team? How are you guys feeling? Uh, is that all passed? Is it all said and done? I mean, yeah, I think everyone in the locker room is great. Um, I don't think it it really manifested beyond the field. Um, I think it was just left at that. And obviously, frustrations happen in, in long seasons like this and in, in tough moments. And it's just about moving on. And um, yeah, all the guys are fine, and I don't think you'll see any of that this weekend. Great. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it.